Amy. Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm also gay, I was uh, gonna tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating Straight. Oh my god. Amy. Hi. How's it going? Hey, Jack. We are here today on Dating Straight. Woo! And we have Cammy Scott. The classic femme lesbian. My fucking queen. But before Oh, Cammy, will you do the honors? Will you tell them to rate and subscribe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, don't forget to rate and subscribe for more of some Jack and Amy action. Hell yeah. yeah. I feel like a sex worker when I'm <laughs> on here. I love it. 1-800-FEM-LESBIAN. Um, <laughs> so, yes, you heard the woman. Listen Welcome to... Welcome to Dating Straight. Her. Yay. Rate, subscribe, five stars. Leave a review. Comment, Comment on YouTube. Like the video. Absolutely. And Give this video a thumbs up if you like Cammy. <laughs> One like. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> um, hi. Hi, baby. You want to catch up real quick? Yeah, let's do a little catch up. Um, okay, so I'm about to turn the big two six. Ah! Bow, bow, bow. Something I know nothing about. Something Cammy has done three times now. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, How that. was it's y'all 26? 26 is a great year. Is it? Because yeah. 25 was like literally trash. Oh, yeah. You're fine now. You got over the hump. Okay. Yeah. Do you promise? <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember talking to Nikki Limo one time and I was like, must have been 22 or 23. And she was like, watch out for 25. It was trash. Yeah, 25. And I was like, okay, well, that's just for you. But then it was like literally bad. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> but wait. Yeah. Also like... What do we think about 22? Because 22 is kind of like... <gasps> 22 was... I think everything was I fun. Remember. I know. Where was I? I? Who like, was I? Like, is any age, like, good? I or think, are we just in an abyss? No, I you have know? a good feeling about 26, and I mean that. Okay. I really am like... I'm holding out for 26. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's going to be great. Good. Yeah. So we're going to... Joshua Tree. Yes. To like look at some stars and fuck shit <laughs> up. Hell yeah. I'm going it's to literally suck a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cact ass. <gasps> oh. Ooh. That sounds so painful. So my catch up this week yeah. is I'm turning 26. Celine is going to build me a cat wall for my B-Day. I mean, oh, I'm what? paying for it, but, <laughs> okay. but it's for my B-Day. I'm getting myself a present. No, you're getting your cats a present. I'm getting my cats a present. I don't even want the cat wall. I'm just like, you know, single and have a bunch of cats. So I'm like, let me do something for them. Yeah, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> ja- okay, last week we had Drew and Anya on who, oh my God, they're the bomb no they offense, are like Cammy, but they're the bomb. <laughs> literally two hoots <laughs> like two hoots and they kept saying this meme that i didn't know <laughs> and jack like called me out after he was like did you even know what we were talking about and i was like no i didn't and then i made him send it to me last night so yeah. now i'm in the loop angel mommy on tiktok cammy has no idea yeah what <laughs> that's what happens when you turn 26 no i love tiktok yeah. uh, honestly the older i get the more i like tiktok I don't even have a download on my phone. <laughs> you should do it immediately. Right now? Yeah. Hasn't TikTok been out for like a month? Yeah, every day I get older. <laughs> every day I like TikTok even more. That's so beautiful. Thank you. The heart grows fonder as you grow older, right? Because like you have like more emotions. I don't know. I don't know because I'm young and virile and don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's like, I'm pretty sure that's a word when you like. Feral. Are like able to i think it means like horny i think it means it's like i'm not Feral? actually horny. no it's like <laughs> opposite of stare it's like you have like stuff to like you have like kaylon do you know what he's talking about Someone fact check veril come no. on veril can you something. can you google veril please comment down below if you know what i'm talking about i'm pretty sure it means that you are like able to and want to have kids but like in the wild in like an animal way Okay, so you describe yourself as no. sterile? <laughs> well, I'm just saying I'm young, okay? I'm okay, just trying okay. to criticize. Jack's young, we're old, yeah. blah, we get blah, it. blah, 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 blah. I'm not in menopause right now. <laughs> That's what I'm I kind of wish. Say. What? It's a real word. <gasps> wow, Thank you. Oh, shit. Virile. 
But is it, does it mean what he says it means? No. Yeah. It, oh, it's yeah, shit. It um, Jack, wow. Jack Jack's always has facts. Yeah, that doesn't count. You're fr- your brain's fresh. Yeah. I don't remember a single thing I learned in college. I think our show is cute because like I'm the smart one <laughs> and Amy's you are you and our guests usually have something else to say. Okay, Jack's Veril, Veril, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Good for you. Anyway, what was this about? <laughs> You were just calling us old. Oh. And we okay. were like, okay. Well, I'll continue to do so. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, well, you are Veril because Veril. <laughs> Pick one. Pick one. And I, stick with I, I want to say Veril because sterile. Okay. Anyway, that's not how you say sterile. <laughs> that's how sterile. I say it. Sterile. Sterile. Um, sterile. Sounds like a name. How you say squirrel instead of squirrel. Anyway, <laughs> everyone at home is like, skip, skip, skip. Yeah, skip. Yeah. Okay, but you, I was going to say that you went on a date this week, as you do most weeks. <laughs> yes. You always go Why on would a, that be bad? You're laughing. I'm not saying. Sick? I'm just saying you're virile. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I did go on a date this week. I, um, well, okay. Uh, it always comes back to this. Big dick sending no. me. Yeah. Yeah. No. S- sending me heart emojis. Do you know anything about Big Dick? I don't know anything about Big Dick. Okay. okay. Big Dick has a big dick and is playing me. <laughs> um and Sounds about right. but then wasn't interested clearly. And then now as soon as I'm not interested and I'm actually not, like I'm actually not. I've m- made it through it. That's when they get annoying and they're like heart eye emoji and DMing me all the time responding to every one of my stories and I'm like grow up. <laughs> Grow up. If you have something to say, say it. Yeah. You know? Grow up. And like, if you want to like apologize and beg me to take you back, then do it. You know? I hope he listens to these. Like me. (laughs) Me too. Like if you want it back, apologize. I would consider it. Well, what's, what would he be apologizing for? Well, not apologizing, but like, if you want me back, be like, hey, let's hey. give it another shot. You know? Yeah. Like, say what you mean to say. Isn't that no, a song? No, he just wants yeah, to you play you. you back. Well, only yeah. till he wants him, and then he doesn't. Well, then want him stop again. playing me because I, I already have clearly shown no interest in that because I don't respond to any of the things he's in. Ooh, <laughs> like no response at all. Not in the last two, and the one before that, he <laughs> said, he said hi, and I said sir, dude, and he said at le gym, and I didn't respond. So like because the, duh, what the fuck exactly at le gym. So the last three <laughs> at the last three, I haven't said anything. Anyway, so then I was like, fuck that noise. I'm moving on. I miss moving on. <laughs> miss moving on. And then I got back on Tinder. Oh, found a sweet wow. boy. He actually super liked me, which usually I find weird. Um, but he was super cute. Looked like he was like kind of a nature boy. Um, and was like cute and very cute. And was cute. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and we had like good convo. And then he asked me out. To dim sum. I was like, ooh. Hell yeah. You would yeah. love that. I, I love Asian food. I, it's like the only food I go out to eat. So <laughs> la- actually, it was last time we recorded our episode. I, I had know, to rush out of here. You running late for your date. Ran late. Um, Everything went smoothly. He was really cool. He had a lot of cool things to say. I've been really into like philosophy lately. And we had like a nice <laughs> philosophical conversation. <laughs> I invite him. Jack sent me this whole thing about philosophy and how he's so into philosophy now. I think, I'm thinking about starting a new YouTube series. Another channel. I thought he was going to say a different podcast. Muck, no, mukbangs, but where Make I talk about philosophy. philosophical things. Philosophical things. Because when most people are doing mukbangs, they talk about nothing. Yeah. Speaking of Asian foods. See, all of it ties mm, together all my interests. Wow. Anyway, I invite him over afterwards because we eat dinner and things go well. What did you like talk about? Um, yeah, I want an example of a philosophical thing. You do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What's your fave philosophy? <laughs> do you really want to talk about philosophy? What's your favorite no, philosopher? No. I really like. Um, How many songs can you name? I really like Epictetus. Cool. <laughs> I don't because know. Because it has the word teat in it. No. <laughs> um, anyway, I invite him home. And then we are like playing video games. Like I'm like, oof. (laughs) I didn't think that was gonna say. (laughs) No, I'm like shit. Like he's a gamer. Like, um. And then we go in for the kiss. (gasps) Oh, it went bad. (gasps) Oh, it went bad. You can't see out at home on YouTube. You can see me, but out on the here, you can't see me. Yeah, but he opens his mouth. I actually can see him going in. I kind of keep my eyes lingering 
Yeah. I can see the lips coming at me full open. Uh, no. Uh, it kind of looks like a koi fish. How old <laughs> is this man? Where they're like, 22. Oh, um, learn it, I, I know, learn it. Learn That's it. what I was saying. Um, and then he like, I'm like, I can, the last moment I can see it's coming. I'm like, oh no, it's coming straight at me. We kiss it open straight. Like you gotta, you gotta start with the closed lip, yeah. work up to hey, an open. Because you can get synced up. You gotta, yeah, you gotta like get your cycles. <laughs> oh my god! So you went in closed. He went in open. Did he just like? Well, I was hoping. Down the hole. I was hoping he would, in his mind, be like, "Oh, close, close." Yeah, you're right. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And lo and behold, no way. Kept it open uh, the whole time. And honestly, we kissed once. I was like. And then I was kind of like, let's just stick to video games. Then on the way out, like How we kissed again. How did you even say that? You were just like, we're done kissing. No, sir. no, I didn't say it. I just oh, like just like pulled out and picked up the Nintendo the, 64. The big pull out. Yeah, <laughs> I've learned that. Um, and then when he left, yeah, I, we like kissed again, and I was like kind of dreading it at that point. Oh. Um, and then he texted me and was like, hey. Would you want to hang out again? And I was like, hey, no. <laughs> no, I was like, hey, I had a really good time. We had really good convo because we did. Yeah. I felt like connected to you, but not in a romantic way. Fuck. You, you want to be friends. All the time. You didn't tell him about the kiss so he can learn. I didn't no. want to. Jack's so honest. I feel like he would be like, he is it was great, but honest. you are a boy fish. Yeah. I don't know. You can. Um, and I didn't think I would be able to like recover from it. I feel like if I was like, oh, it was great and I want to see him again except for that kiss, then I would tell him. Totally. But like that kind of like ruined the whole vibe. So I was like, it's not worth it. Damn. Um, and then he was like, I don't think we can be friends because I think I have a crush on you. And I was like, oh. okay, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> like, have a good one. And he was like, thanks. Yeah. Fuck. No, but that sounds really harsh, but it was actually like, he was like, thanks for telling, you know. Jack, you are a hot breaker. You're yeah. a savage. But I get my heart broken too. I just don't play. You, you don't know? waste anyone's time. I don't want to waste. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be the big dick for someone else, you know? Mm. Although I have all the necessary supplies. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you guys were roommates once. Wait, wait. Can't, yeah, you have, have anything seen to catch the big up? Dick. Do you have any? <laughs> you, uh, no, I was going to say that you guys were roommates. So Cammy's heard of like your once a week date with a new man every time. No, it was not once a week. It was daily. Okay, no. Yeah, like sometimes twice a day. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. It, no. Any, so you've slowed down. Anytime you were leaving uh -huh. house and you didn't have class and I asked you where you were going, it was always, oh, I just have a quick date. Sometimes it would be five minutes. Okay. Sometimes it was you know what? five days. <laughs> no, Fine. this is not Fine. bad. We're not even no, you dragging were... you. It's just I would say once a week at most. I mean, I've done two in one day. One time when I was going through it. Not one it. time. It was no, no, a no. few times. No, I've there was like a time. month you were going at least three not a day. <laughs> Three a week. No, Guys, but you are making shit up. <laughs> no, I've heard of back-to-back -back dates often, bitch. Often. Mm -hmm. This so. is classic two lesbians ganging up on <laughs> the poor, poor, white, <laughs> successful gay man. <laughs> God. Um, no. But, like, you you go on many a dates. I'm, Did you, like, hear about it when he'd get home sobbing? <laughs> it wasn't the I one feel like camp. they always went the same that I thought it was the same guy all the time it was always like yeah it was fun it was okay because I feel like you're good at chatting with people so you keep it going mm. like Amy's afraid to go on dates because she wouldn't know what to do if it was going <laughs> poorly <laughs> if it was going poorly I would just have to leave if it was going poorly you would like marry them have five cats and then be like oh well <laughs> yeah <laughs> no way <laughs> you'd be like oh my god I have to build my cat a wall I'm busy like that's the type of thing um, no but Cammy actually did did one time walk in on a date? me. Let's talk about oh it. My Why God. not? I don't know what we're specifically talking about. Talking There's a few girl. things I walked in on. Ooh. One time Cammy walked in on me. I'll let you finish the story once I prompt you. Okay. When I had like 11 friends oh, over. It, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was just afraid you were going to that wasn't a date. That was an orgy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was. I walked into a party. That's <laughs> crazy. Is that well, why well, you moved yeah. out? No, okay, that's why I, I would stay love, longer. <laughs> I would love to hear from your eyes mm -hmm. what was happening. Were you like low-key annoyed? I feel like I'd be like, Jack, 
stop it. I was a little drunk, so I didn't really care. <laughs> it was a big laugh immediately. I feel like it was we yelled incredible. at each other. We were like, ah, I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. It was like walking oh. in on your parents having sex, kind of. It was like My a weird God. thing. Okay, keep in mind, I was not having not sex. Not having sex. Just I was just making out. out. Yeah. There was just different levels of people with like some were just in boxers, I think, some fully clothed. It was from what yeah. I remember. Okay. And it was early, from I what, believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like a Thursday or something. Well, you used Thursday to host at 9 p.m. Yeah. The Thursdays. Gays. That Thursdays, was gays. Yes. That's right. I, Jack from had a what potty, I remember, a weekly potty. there were like seven boys in my room, not me. So none of them you could see. There, yeah, I, I think there was yet. just, I just burped, <laughs> two other boys on the couch with me. Mm, I think there were a few more on the couch. <laughs> okay, I was it making out with hundred. two. I was wow. making out with two. <laughs> the breathing. Maybe that's all I'm willing to share. I'll share. Um, oh, well, <laughs> afterwards, we like seven of us got strep from that night. Wow. So that's all I'll say. But you can feel free to share whatever you'd like to. <laughs> it was early. I got home from dinner and I thought Jack was out. Yeah. Fully did not think anyone was home. I thought so you he guys wasn't had like, hey, gays. Can I please have an orgy at the house? Is that okay? The disrespect. I maybe said, like, I'm having. People. No, it was all yeah. <laughs> no, it was always like, oh, I'm having people over. And anytime he asked me, I was like, you don't have to ask me at your house too. Sure, sure. So I, maybe this was the first time he felt comfortable <laughs> not <laughs> saying anything. But I got no heads up, and I believe the door was unlocked. Is the biggest takeaway from this? Well, yeah, you never know who's coming over. <laughs> and that's what he said. He was like, if somebody came, we didn't want to have to stop. Oh, okay. This God. isn't true. Tammy's full of shit. I would like to say Tammy's making no, shit up. I, yeah, that, I'm she, fully joking. But the door was unlocked. That is facts. Because I came in, I went to unlock it. It was already unlocked. I opened the door and everyone kind of. Did anyone like stop? Is, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think we it was all a went pause. like, oh. It was like a, it was a very calm like, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. I <laughs> oh my god <laughs> some laugh yeah. here and there yeah little giggles and then I I was like oh I'm gonna go to my room I don't remember what happened after yeah I think I just went to my room I was like I'm leaving again I think we both blacked out in that moment because we didn't know what to do I had no idea what to do I just like I looked into Jack's eyes <laughs> we met eye. like we fully like <laughs> it was like my eyes like went out of my head traveled all the way next to Cammy's our eyes were like a centimeter yeah, from away like from talking. each other blinking uh-huh i was kind of just like are you good <laughs> blink once if you're okay yeah he was okay wow. i was okay so Girl. and then from there i feel like <laughs> I, I feel like that was like the last time i ever was like afraid of cammy like i was like afraid never of afraid of like telling it you know not telling it like it is but like sharing my true self with cammy yeah that's how we that built I our relationship it. yeah yeah if your roommate can walk in on an orgy and just be like yep yeah, you're good okay. Any, i would any, like to go. say orgy big word that's a big it was like word. orgy energy it was big orgy, orgy energy it was like low. a high school makeout party yes yeah more so it was more like a spin the bottle type thing ah uh, that's a little low-key it was more like spin the bottle time. I'm pretty sure 10. you were like straddling somebody when I walked in. <gasps> no, I'm pretty <gasps> sure actually I or had someone was two. I was you. in the middle and yes. two people wanted my attention because I'm hot, first mm. of all. There was just like a lot of legs everywhere. <sighs> What's wrong with a little leg? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Anyway. So Jack is a savage. And then he went on two dates the next day <laughs> no. and then cried about it no, later. No, because then I got strep, so I had to take some a leave of absence. Well, he is very little... responsible with stuff like that. With taking time off. Yeah. Thank you. You, like, recognize when you need it. Yeah. I think I need recovery. I mean, I'm sensitive. So, like, when yeah. I get – when something goes wrong, I, like, think it's my fault. So then I stop. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> did I? Did I, I bring that you up? That up. Thanks. I think yeah, I just you said you guys were roommates and you were like, well, I have a story. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> How was living together? You guys. It was so easy. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're the only people I know that lived together and remained friends. <laughs> Except for I haven't seen you in a year. 
<gasps> yeah, you guys don't hang out anymore. <laughs> okay. Tell us about that. <laughs> well, um, Cammy moved far, far away. Oh, so it far. is not that far. Okay. Well, Cammy stole my man, Frank. Oh, and so that's sorry. what it was. Yeah. Damn. No, it's okay. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, I just. I mean, school. I think part of I go to school, and also I think I see like every lesbian that I once was super, super close with less because now I've kind of like looked at myself in the mirror and been like, hey, you're gay and a man and you Not need to have like some of that energy. I know. Well, okay. Alexis and I were talking the other day and she was like, Jack does not come around anymore. And I was like, I know. He's it's living, because he's getting his own identity. Exactly. He's just like wants to hang out with boys. Like, like how you want to flirt with lesbians like i want to flirt with boys and the best way to do that is, is to, to be around gay boys. boys yeah because you went through a big lesbian phase <laughs> you only <laughs> you only hung out with lesbians for like a yeah. year and a half i would say i was the internet's favorite boy lesbian totally, for a while totally and then you were like so fucking over it you were like bye and then now you like don't talk to any lesbians anymore except me because we have a podcast together <laughs> you, you to. can't get away from me <laughs> listen fine i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> no but i was telling her i was like don't take it personal no he just wants to hang out with people it's not personal but i actually have been doing some thinking and thinking that i do want to kind of come back well find Maybe the middle ground back? find the middle ground because i think mm -hmm. i went full lesbian i started full lesbian totally <laughs> then i kind of went full gay yeah and i think You're um bi i think I, yeah i would love to be <laughs> by somewhere in the middle it's all it's a kinsey scale you know and i need to find that perfect scale for me because I still appreciate like female energy. Mm. I love lesbians clearly because I have shown to get play well with lesbians. Totally. And I think that I need to just find that middle ground. Yeah. So we'll, we'll work Come on it. Cammy and I will work on it. <laughs> you still have to Venmo me for our rent check. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't gone to the bank yet, but oh it's fine. I'm holding you her money we'll hostage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, she was holding my deposit money hostage for like five months. Yeah, I just said you had to come pick it up. He never came. <laughs> We're fighting like already. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. Um. Okay. Enough about us because mm. clearly we have some shit to work out. Yeah. <laughs> um. I want to know about you because you are famous. How did you <laughs> become you and famous? Oh yeah. Oh boy, Tumblr. Tell us, the Tell us about Tumblr. The Cami Scott story starts on Tumblr, as all good love yeah, stories Scott do. To the right. As all lesbians start. Yeah. <laughs> we are birthed on Tumblr. Yes. Wow. Yes. Um, the my Christ. something just like drew you to Tumblr. You were like, "This is where I belong." No, I went on to literally save decor images. <gasps> like I would. So you haven't changed. Like, so fame nothing. hasn't changed. I <laughs> used Tumblr as Pinterest. I accidentally found it when I was looking to redo my room, and it was a pain to save all them to my desktop, all the pictures. So I was like, oh, I'll just make an account, save it all on here. Cute. So my first, however many po posts, are all like fashion stuff, interior oh decorating. Wow. Fem Such a femme lesbian Ooh, struggle. Oh, yes. But then one day, it all my out. girlfriend at the time was on vacation. Yeah. And I missed her, as one does. Mm -hmm. So I posted a picture of us. As a lesbian us. does. A be <laughs> not all, that's not normal, missing your significant other. As a Just lesbian. lesbian. Only lesbians do that, exactly. you freaks. Yeah, I know, we're wild. <laughs> um, but yeah, I posted a picture of us and woke up the next day and a bunch of people had followed me. <gasps> like, oh my God. And I was like, oh, people like this. I so can I, capitalize off of being and yeah. you're a professional <laughs> lesbian. Sure. <laughs> Great. That's so good. I wish <laughs> wish that were me. You I bet you, you could, don't want to be I was actually I was. I was. I you forgot. were Jack Had Pizza Dodge. I was Jack Pizza Dodge. Lest we forget. Tumblr. Guys, I still use Tumblr. Can you believe it? No. I wasn't it just I was, I was gonna say something I can't say never mind. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it bought out by like Wattpad or like some like small website recently for like two million dollars and then what that's i wanted to buy yeah, it. yeah wait what <laughs> yeah well, only two mil yeah no. and then they before they had like had an offer for like 
billions or something and now it's like worth nothing because they got rid of porn do you hear about that that, that's why i stopped using it for a little me too i actually did have a porn tumblr i'll admit it i'll admit it i did is it still out there? I've act okay. No, but people it's not give me shit. pictures of you. It's no, just no, 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 no. Reblog so I yeah. can like go back. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what likes are for, Jack. Yeah. No? Mr. I don't know how to use Tumblr or whatever. Oh. But um, you put no, likes actually, private. that is something I've never told. I know, people keep calling me out being like, everything you've ever said, you've never told anyone on the internet. Everybody already knows. But I'm pretty sure nobody knew that I had I didn't know that. a porn I didn't blog. Know that. The thing that you said last week when you were like, I have never told a single soul that. I was like, I literally have heard this story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good of a secret. <laughs> um, so I think our Tumblr use is different. Mine is just like sad stuff. And then and then I'll like answer nons that I like won't put on Twitter or Instagram. Oh, I don't answer anything anymore because I don't know how- how <laughs> really it's all different and i get people confused. are so fucking mean on a non yeah. don't even look i'd rather not know what they're doing i post like really emotional stuff going on in my life and then stuff that has nothing to do with me to throw people off so they Ooh. don't know what's real Ooh, mm-hmm. shit i'm sneaky <laughs> <laughs> um okay i want to know so this is dating straight mm. you are gay but mm-hmm. yeah why am i here <laughs> yeah you've Welcome. been gay for a long time since she was 13, Pete. Yeah, can you tell us that. about like... Before, how- before that? Well, I mean like you were gay. We were, well, yeah, I was yeah, blah, blah, gay, blah. But, but like... Yeah, yeah. <gasps> before that? I don't know exactly how tell us, it Tell your us your coming out yeah, moment. Adolescence. Yeah. I joined a dance team when I was in... She's a dancer. Seven, she's a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> um, seventh grade? I always mix up the years. I have a really bad memory. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah, <laughs> once you were said. gay, once you were gay, it all blurs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So the golden age. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, I hindsight, I feel like for anyone who's gay is like, oh, duh. So yeah. many times, I'm like, yeah. why did I only have crushes on girls? Um, <laughs> <laughs> all makes That's sense. A dead giveaway. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, oh, so I can see a femme lesbian face. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, but yeah, I joined a dance team and, you know, again, hindsight is really weird. There was a lot of weird relationships going on in that dance team. Like there was a lot of like lines being crossed looking back. Whoa. Um, yeah, I hope none of them are listening. <laughs> Wait, like in a, like in a fun in way. Like, it was just, in a fun everyone way. really way. loved each other. Like we were real <laughs> You were close. a family. <laughs> we were a family. Wow. Um, yeah, it just, there was some like weird stuff going on, but what my first girlfriend and I were on the team together and yeah. we 13. were, um, yeah, what is is seventh grade. That is okay. Yeah. First girlfriend at we met. 13. No, no, no. Is... We met when I was 13. We weren't dating yet. But we 14. quickly started like <laughs> hooking up. Having like at glances, 13. Stolen glances. Yeah. You like knew what you wanted and went for it. I mean, it was like a couple year process and it would be like having sleepovers and rubbing each other's back for eight hours. Oh, and then like kissing yeah. closed mouth for like Ugh, I all wish. night. <laughs> I fucking wish. I know, I know you know nothing about that. Advice. But then we would do this weird thing where we would like, this is so weird. I'm like embarrassed <laughs> I'm saying this, but we would like kiss without tongue, but open our mouths. <laughs> uh, kind of like, 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 like your koi fish, yeah. two koi fish, if you can imagine, just, and no tongue, koi fish because with no tongue. Tongue would make it gay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Tongue would mean we were gay how for each did other. You even like, how did you even decide like, okay, we'll kiss? Because it was like, <laughs> it was like, oh, we're best friends. Like, mm, kiss goodnight. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Love you. Night. Mm. Who like starts that? I feel like it's it'd be too scary. Well, our entire dance team would be like, hey, love you, bye, and kiss on the lips. <laughs> okay, no That's way. like Jack's Audrey. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Actually, well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're all a family. We kiss each other goodbye. It's yeah. true. But then you and the one were like, okay, let's yeah. kiss Yeah, and it just like goodbye. progressed from there and there. And the first night that we actually made out, we both freaked out and then panicked i like jumped out of the bed laid back down did it again uh, <laughs> jumped back up panicked was like oh no sorry 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 i didn't mean it <laughs> laid back down did it again oh my god oh my god you young yeah. gays yeah it was wild wow and then the first time we like really hooked up was so weird so we're again what why am i sharing all of this <laughs> we so we're it. 
we're in bed at my house and now we're a little, I have no idea what age we are at this point. Maybe I'm um, like maybe 15, 16 mm -hmm. and laying on top of her making out as you do with your best buds. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, were you like, okay, we make no. out a little too much to be actual I, friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're okay. like, oh, this is weird. I love you, but only you, like, I'm not gay. But like oh, you're my exception. Okay. Yeah. Thing. Cute. But so we're making out. I think I'm like <laughs> holding her hands up and she takes my hand and like puts it down her body. <gasps> and it gets like closer and closer to the nether region. <laughs> <laughs> so I move my hand back up and she does it again. And I did this like five times to be like, is she am I Does she mean am it? Am I getting this right? Yeah. So finally. I just go for it. <gasps> and she was like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, we we do it for a little bit. Okay. And then she freaked out. Oh. Yeah. And then panics and is like, why would you do that to me? And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, so confused. Freak. And then I'm panicking. I'm like, what did I just do? I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Um. But then, yeah, then we did it again. <laughs> <laughs> then you dated so, for like, yeah. and then we years. dated for like four years. So wow, turns out she did want that. <laughs> yeah, so young and gay. So young and gay. Wow. When I was thirteen, that's. I mean, I was nowhere near anyone's nether. I mean, when I was fifteen, I was nowhere near anything. I was like, me, I love Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it though. That's like the time where it all jumps out. Yeah, and I was never. <laughs> like physically attracted to guys. And I thought something was wrong with me because all my friends would be like, so-and-so so cute. Sorry, I have an ice cube in my mouth. <laughs> so-and-so so cute. Why don't, like, you should like him, you should date him. And I would be old enough to be dating a guy and I would act like a five-year-old. I would go all the way around the halls to skip running into him, Whoa. panic to so no guys. no one in your dance class knew about you and this woman's um, was it like hard to miss how I think everyone knew but it was just like not spoken of because then we switched dance teams and went somewhere else both of you yeah okay <gasps> what? together oh, as a couple that's yeah. a huge oh, scandal it was a big scandal Holy it was like shit. the biggest scandal Pittsburgh's ever seen <laughs> 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 but we went there and we also weren't out there yeah and w waited for so long we waited until i graduated high school and i was in college she was still in high school mm -hmm. and we finally came out because we kind of got outed um yeah oh my god bitch. but yeah we finally came out and everyone was like duh uh -uh. you guys fight like a married couple of course you're dating wow. so everyone knew yeah it wasn't like, a secret duh, lesbians yeah <laughs> <laughs> look at those lesbians yeah so can't hide there. them yeah no, no nah. you can't no and so did you ever have, because you were so young, did you ever have an experience with a boy? Did you have man time? I did have a man's time. Ew. I had one. Okay. Because um, you don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm kidding. Um, no, I, so my first girlfriend and I, we like weren't official for a long time. She, I would drop her off at a guy's house and they would like hook up. Oh my God. And then we would hang out after. <gasps> oh God, and bitch. I would just go cry in my car. Aww. It was awful. But I was like, oh, you need to figure your stuff out. Yeah. If you're not ready to be And you didn't gay. have like the language to be like, actually, I don't like how that makes me exactly. feel. Exactly. It was, I mean, Nor would she you cheated on me the that. entire time we were together. So this wasn't like just wow, a guy queen. thing. Like, yeah, she cheated on me with girls, everything. Everything. Oh, okay, go oh, yeah. off. But <laughs> so during that process, I dated this guy before her, and then we broke up, whatever, because I was a child. And then I was actually trying to make the girl jealous mm. and went to a party. It was awful. Oh, God, I hope my parents don't listen to this. My mom was out of town. I lied to my dad. And I was like, I'm staying at my friend's house. Sneaky. Yeah, and went to this party. I never drank. I was like such a good kid. Never had a fake ID. And we, I had like two beers and was blackout. Uh-oh. And then... And nothing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same old little me. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then like I was heartbroken when this guy like he kind of ghosted me before ghosting was a thing when we broke up like we didn't break up he just stopped talking to me so when he was giving me attention i was like yeah and then went back to his place and i woke up the next day in his bed and was like he was cuddling me had his arm around me and i was like oh. he's like are you okay and i was like no i'm not okay what the fuck happened Ooh. so it wasn't a very memorable first time oh my god um but yeah that was and that then was did the you time. tell her about it and she was like fuck you um, no, I think at that point we weren't like a thing. 
that I don't I don't know. I don't remember to I don't think I did tell her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably wasn't well, telling you everything. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Oh, she was for sure wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't tell <laughs> <don't, laughs> me anything. Yeah. Whoa. So that was my one man time that was And then you guys you never spoke again. You were like, bye man. Bye man. Yeah. Did that like prove to you that you were not interested in a man ever again? It didn't feel like it was related in any way it was just like like why'd that even happen yeah i was like i i felt like deep in my heart i knew Uh so you didn't need that to like prove anything no not at all it was just like that wasn't enjoyable what was that yeah i don't know and 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 you haven't done anything again no so no thank you yeah i feel that well with men (laughs) but well (laughs) Zach's like i never did it again (laughs) no never um wait jack have you been with a girl Mm-mm. I didn't think so. So that's why I'm kidding when I say I don't knock it yeah. till you try it because I have not right. tried it. <laughs> Although sometimes I, Madison Eisman, um, we talk about her, I swear, like every episode. <laughs> but um, she, back in the day when I was like 16 or 17, first of all, our famous, my famous birthdays profile says that I, and her and I are dated, like fully dated. Like yeah. they believe it. Like that's on internet record. Um, because they, you you made a video, like the girlfriend tag yeah, with Madison Eisman. Which was a joke, but also kind of like mean it. Because <laughs> no, looking back though, she just sent me this week, she sent me a picture of her and I kissing at a party. And I was like, like, first of all. <laughs> did you date and you just don't remember? That's though? what I'm wondering. Because first not. of all, like what is love? You know, like what is love? <laughs> Because I don't know if I've ever felt it. So oh. I'm like, is that the closest I've ever felt? Because we definitely had this, a connection beyond like buds, you know, like best buds. And like so it was and it was physical, but not like <gasps> sexual. It wasn't sexual at all. But it was like emotional, too. You know, I'm wondering if it was so more like maybe you did Jack, date. You're Madison. Well, I'm wondering <laughs> if it was like hetero romantic, but I'm still like definitely homosexual you know what i mean (laughs) like if i have the possibility of like being like you know what that chick is cool like emotionally but physically no so i don't know do with that what you will i feel like everyone's on that there's like two spectrums there's a sexual spectrum and emotional spectrum and everyone's different it's like you could emotionally be with a man and a woman but you can never physically be. Yeah. yeah like, well, because I feel you know. com- no, Madison. No, no. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. you would. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, like, don't lie. I mean, she's definitely my type. <laughs> Whoa. In a woman, probably. You think? I, I thought don't know. You were going to bone Alexis one day. Didn't we? Well, she's that? also my type. Oh. She's all? Yeah. I mean, listen. I see that. Jack wants to lose his woman virginity. So we got to figure out who it's going to be. No, first of all, what? Well, your birthday's coming <laughs> I've up. I've never so. said that I want to lose my woman virginity. I just haven't. But I think um, you've said that you want to. Well, I've said that I've, I'm not he completely he closed, a lot of things. closed <laughs> off to it. Not completely closed off to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. You I mean, have to talk Like you about said, it it's all a spectrum. I think like it's like, you do it. yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I think it is all a spectrum. Like you're saying everything, like. I think because I feel comfortable around women mm-hmm. emotionally and that's like a, sometimes more than men because sometimes men like have a hard time I think opening up about things or like being like vulnerable with each other so I get that with women like that's easy mm-hmm. but I don't know I mean like I'll I'll just say it vaginas kind of like <laughs> they're kind of whack to me like I <laughs> Jack and I were watching. What's that show? That uh, English show where they're naked. Oh my god! What? What is that called? Naked attraction. Naked attraction. But what is that? Jack about? was panicking over women's bodies. He's like, they're just weird. They're not for me. They yeah, look. He, they look foreign because I've never seen one. Done like yeah. I've never like had close proximity with a n- naked woman's body. It's this show. Basically, you can watch it on YouTube. Surprisingly, because there are like full vag and dicks out. <laughs> Um, and it's a, it's a British show and I guess oh, it, it's because it's educational. They can show it. Oh. And basically they have one person and they look at like six people's naked bodies. No face. No face till the end. It's like and okay, they, by bit they reveal. And they, they eliminate people based on physical attraction, basically one by one. Damn. There's like a leg round, a boob round. Yeah. A whole vag round. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, wild. But it is kind of woke too. It's kind of cool. Like. 
Um, but I feel sometimes like sometimes they have bisexual people on, so it's both or gay people on. They have trans people on too. They have people in wheelchairs, so like it's like. But isn't that fucked up to be like, no, I won't date that badge. No, I think it's nice because everyone, like the person that I would pick is not always the person they pick. You get to see yeah. everyone's different opinions of what they think is beautiful. It's more like psychologic, like psychology. Like uh-huh. what do the people find attractive? Because yeah, fully, sometimes they pick people where I'm like, <laughs> yeah, is be everyone a- else here yeah. looking? <laughs> I'm not, not, sorry. That's kind of mean. Kind of mean. No, like, but see those kneecaps. But oh. it's also it's woke, but it's also really entertaining because sometimes the oh my god, the worst one is this gay guy, and the first person he sent home, he was like, it was because the dick was really small, and it was like he was like, they was like, why'd you send him home? And he had to be like, yeah, I like a bigger dick than that. And oh, it, I was like, oh my, my fucking god. god, yeah. But then they go on a date after, and it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch because they have their like they have their clothes on. It's awkward them hugging. It's like, oh, I've seen y'all whole uh-huh. naked body. Well, and Let's then at the, go on this date. And then at the end, do they have the to show has them? To show, <gasps> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they have to say yes to their naked body. No, yeah, already, I think they've already picked. Well, them. they'll go on a date after that, and they always hug naked. Yep. And the host it's hugs really, them. The host no. hugs them naked. No, it's no, no, it's no. Kind of weird. That's crazy. Um. Anyway, <laughs> watch that. <laughs> um. I forgot how we're talking about that, but. Because if you would have sex with a woman, you would like, vag is whack. <laughs> Badges. Badges. <laughs> Badges. No, I like, okay, back to watching straight porn. Oh, yeah. I do watch it sometimes, but every time the with badge no, is the like badge. in full shot, I fast forward. Like I tend to prefer like a more zoomed out mm, man there as well yeah. type of porn. I just you like know? ignore the man, only vag. What about you? Do you ever watch porn? Yeah, you know, I don't mind, like, I've watched just gay guy porn. And And I feel like a lot of lesbian, it's not like, I honestly don't like a lot of porn. I want it to be like a fucking movie. And then they happen to have like full blown. Blue is the warmest color. I have, but (laughs) I feel uncomfortable with that because the actors hated the experience. So then I feel really bothered by the fact that I'm enjoying watching their hard time. Hey, blow her mouth. Anyone? Below her mouth. <laughs> ever, ever seen it? That Have you seen so it? so weird. Wait, wait, wait. That was the one where it's like the construction worker. Yes, yes. I yes. hated that. When she whips out she the whips dildo. Out the, dild- the strap on. Strap on. She was wearing it the whole time in the, the bar. The whole day. Not realistic. Not realistic. No, that's, that would be so You would fucking see it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think she wa- maybe wanted that. I'd be like, that what? That is crazy. I don't know. Yeah. I just like, like not the tub scene in that. The tub really crazy. Like her just the, like I, alone in the I was yeah. like that would not do much. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> like if you were in the tub or it, watching it. Oh no, if I were in the tub also watching it. I guess I like I'm not into that girl. I wasn't into either of those girls. Yeah, uh, the one really bothered me cuz they made her like Dude. stereotypical douchebag. Yeah, Huge I was like uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Guys, half of the lesbians we know are Stereotypical Douches? douche. <laughs> Name it's one. True. I don't know. Not that douche? we know. Not that we're oh. friends with. Name no, them. No, <laughs> Name no. them. No, I like no. can't think of like a full blown. Not douche. like that. Who are like who like dates like many women? Yeah, that's not realistic. Yeah, no. yeah. It was. No. But I liked that movie. You did? Have yeah. you seen it? Like the yeah. whole movie? I watched it. Yeah, with you. you. I'm pretty sure I watched oh, it. Oh, and with Bia, and she was the whole yelling. movie. Just the sex I scenes. think we were all yelling. No, the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, remember? I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't forget. At, did I just say my old address? Did I say that no, out loud? No. Oh, OK, cool. I, I said it. I almost head. said it, too. I said well, it, it doesn't head. matter. It's now. my it's your old address. Oh, yeah. La Mirada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> La Mirada? We watched yes. Yeah. I was just going to wait. I was there. We only watched the sex scenes. There was like 12 of them. We yeah. might have only watched the sex scenes. Yeah, we watched like three think, different movies. Yeah, just there the were like a scenes. bunch of us. Maybe we watched and then it again. I just Did remember Bia yelling. Fuck. <laughs> Bia yelled through the whole tub scene. I and we were talking we about. I watched it twice because I think we watched th- again after the sex scenes. We were like, you have to see this. The whole movie? <laughs> no, we after watching the whole movie, then oh, everyone came over. You were like, we oh, have to watch these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, porn. I think that is what happened. Yeah, because um, what's it called? What the what they put on the vag? So it's not like a real vag. The uh, dental dam? No. no. Uh, the like in movies? Mustache. No. What's yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, what's it Merkin. Merkin. No. Yeah, yes. Merkin. It's Merkin. It's Merkin. It's we Merkin. were we were all talking about the Merkins. I know a. I went to high school with someone whose last name was Merkin. 
crazy. Amazing. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. It kind of sucks. But also, like, I didn't know what a Merkin was. Until, I would have like, never known. Years ago. Yeah. I would have been like, what's up, Merkin? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Good. Good stuff. Oh, okay. I actually, I have another thing that's cami related. Oh, boy. So on Tumblr, I get many anons because I'm incredibly famous. Yeah. And a lot of the people are like, would you ever have a long distance relationship? Oh. And I know that this is something that you know much about. I am a fucking pro. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I've ever done. And I'm really? always... Besides my first relationship. Wow. Yeah. And but I'm always like... She went to a different high school, so it felt no. like it. Oh my God. Wow, I didn't know that. This is mm -hmm. deep. Okay, continue. And I'm always like, absolutely not. <laughs> when I do Good that. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you even, why did, why did you do that? <laughs> you know, it was an accident. Yeah. And I didn't, like, I didn't live in LA at the time. And well, for my first long distance relationship, I didn't live in LA, met someone. It was just like, guess that's what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people who dated young and are gay did that. Okay. I you see know, that. so I then I wasn't afraid of it. Only. Yeah. You yeah. just had the means to then like act on it. Yeah. But I feel like I was like in long distance relationships, like through Skype only and like never met some of these people when I was like 17. Never met them? Well, I wasn't like balling out with i don't know <laughs> youtube money or whatever yeah i feel like how do you tell your parents like oh i'm gonna go exactly over to Pennsylvania. but you're older i and old enough to act on it i was old enough that my parents couldn't say no but i was terrified to tell them. when i started dating shannon i was like what do i say yeah wait yeah because were you not out no, you were uh, No, I was out. I was oh, newly out. Okay. But I kind of slipped it in and just like I would be texting Shannon. I would just like laugh at my phone obnoxiously until my mom would be like, who is that? Who, who do I do? And I'd be like, oh, Shannon. And she'd be like, okay. And I had never mentioned her before, but I was trying to like make my mom feel crazy Easy. and make her think I talk about this person all the time. So I would just always just slip her into conversation. Be like, oh, yeah, Shan said this or Shan, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then finally, my mom would be like, wait, who is that again? I'm like, you know the girl lives in Dallas right by Aunt Karen. My aunt lives in Dallas oh, really lucky. close. So I slipped it in. And then I was like, yeah, I I had booked the flight like a month before. And then I told my mom, I was like, <laughs> I am gonna. I think I'm going to book a flight and go down to Dallas and hang out with Shannon. Like I just casually said it wow. when I was like walking out of the house. So I kind of like tricked no. my mom into hearing it. <laughs> so she couldn't, so she couldn't be like, you're going where? I feel like my mom would be like, no, she'd be like stranger danger. You yeah. cannot meet people off the internet. That was like step one from Oprah. She was like, girl, careful. no way, no way. You well, visited. Now, now in no, but 20, like you visited me. 19. True. When you were yeah, like but you had like 19. videos. So did Shan Shannon no. had a Tumblr. Yeah, but that's yeah, it could be anyone. You yeah. could be posting photos of just like But I would like FaceTime her. Yeah. Oh, and like, my mom would see that. Okay, and okay, like okay. you have to trust someone like now this is lit like that's deep. <laughs> you know? It wasn't like, now this is like, dying. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like now this literally. is murder. Like yeah. <laughs> And I was twenty one. Oh, 22, okay, okay, okay. so I mean, my mom couldn't say no. So she was kind of like, be careful, wow. call Aunt Karen if you need anything. And you were like, suck my ass, mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm going to Dallas. I'm never going to Dallas. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could. Well, I don't know. I feel like there's what, like, I would like to know, like, what are the benefits, yeah. the pros and cons of long distance? Okay. I think there's a lot of pros. Um, I don't know if they necessarily out weigh the cons it's just it's a different relationship i think you you get to know each other more because you're forced to talk a lot mm. like you're not going and just hanging out and doing an activity where you could just be like oh this person's fun you have to really like who they are at the core and what they have to say a lot you have to really and you have to be like patient and trusting and i think it it can really help develop those things in a relationship and progress it further but also when you hang out it's either them coming into your space or you going into theirs. So you're just kind of interjecting yourself into their life or vice versa. And that's not a really good depiction of what life together would be like. When Car and I started dating and I was going to London a lot, I would go for sometimes weeks at a time. Because if you're going all the way to freaking London, yeah, you better yeah. make it Yeah, and with the time it. difference, I felt like my friendships were lacking, like being able to talk to my manager was lacking. It's just a hard situation. You really... You really have to want it. It's not worth it just to be like, oh, this could be cool. Like you have to just really enjoy that person. And believe but, it might yeah. continue. Like, do you think to have a long distance relationship, you have to 
really believe that it will at one point not be long distance. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that would get me through it being like, okay, at some point, we're going to find a way to not have this distance. It's not, you can't maintain that. I mean, I'm sure some people can, but I could not maintain well, it Well, you can't do it for, yeah, you can't. That just like feels insane to me. Yeah. And then also I, the best thing for me and the best advice I can give to people in long distance, well, a couple things. One is to always know when you're going to see each other next, because that can just be torturous to not know. And then Shannon and I always used to say, I love you more than I miss you. And I feel like if you care about the person, <laughs> if you care about the person, more, cute. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> but if you care about them more than the missing, then it's worth it totally. to put in that fight. And then you just, you have to treat it like a normal relationship, plan date nights, even though it's going to be on FaceTime, like mm. check in with each other. Honestly, I would say don't text all day long because then you have nothing to talk about at the end of the day. Like treat it like a normal relationship as much as you can. Wow. You really do know about long distance yeah. relationships. I have spent a you total of like, well, I, I guess I've only, uh, I've spent three years in long distance because wow. I did a Lord. year and a half with Shannon know. and a year and a half with Cara. Wow. Do you wow. think that yeah. people always say like distance makes the heart grow fonder? Do you actually think that? Yeah. Cause then it's like exciting every time you see the yeah. person. Uh, yes and no. I feel like I feel like it can be like a fake excitement because the missing is such an intense feeling that you can confuse that missing and desire to ha be around someone as loving them. So I think, I think long distance can really confuse you for how much you care or don't care. And if you have a lot going on in your life, you might think you don't care enough about that person or missing them and wishing they were around you. You think you care more. It, it can just be so confusing. I think you have to be really self-aware and I don't, I don't recommend it to people who like aren't sure in themselves and aren't comfortable with their current life. Like when I was long distance with Shannon, I was miserable because I didn't like my life at the time. Mm. Like I didn't want to live in Pittsburgh anymore. Most of my good friends had moved. I didn't like my job. Like I didn't, I didn't want to be there anymore. And she was in college, like having the best times. So it was really different with Cara. I was so happy with all my friends here. I was living in LA. I was so happy and fine on my own. And then she was unhappy in London. So it's like, it's really hard when that dynamic's not even and you're not both secure and comfortable in your lives. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's rough. Did So did you always want to end up in LA? No way, right? Yeah, no, oh, I you did. I knew I was going to end up in LA or New York. Yeah. I almost moved to LA right after high school to go to school. I was going to go to fashion school here or in New York. Um, cuz that's like the one and two fashion school in the country. Mm -hmm. The third is randomly in Ohio, which was like an hour and a half away from my house, and because I was in a relationship at the time, I stayed near uh, home. Which I'm uh, glad I did cuz I think it all worked nice. out in the end, but it was it was stupid because like the relationship wasn't obviously worth it. Yeah. But I mean, whatever. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Ohio, baby. I've been a few times. You have? Ooh. They go hard in the cornfields. I'm serious. <laughs> Why have you been to Ohio? My sister used to go to school in Ohio. Oh. And like yeah. school, Miami. They go off. Like literally. Well, like what else like, is all there to do? Nothing yeah. else in Ohio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was awful because I like wasn't out. I didn't want to party. I did want to focus on school, so it was miserable. I drove home every single weekend. Oh, wow. Whoa. I don't think I stayed a single... I stayed one weekend my entire freshman year. Are you a nerd? <laughs> I was just not out. <laughs> so I was oh, just like, I couldn't potty. Yeah, well, I was just like afraid to get close with people. As soon as I did, I'd find an excuse not to hang out with them, so I didn't have to tell them. Because they'd be like, Are you, do you like any guys? Aww. And I'd be like... Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to ask you, like, what's the difference between being gay in Pittsburgh v, like, L.A.? Or were you not even out gay? I feel like I don't know. Like, I don't know gay bars. I – because I just – Dated my girlfriend and like that was my little tiny gay world, which is like me and her. You didn't <laughs> have like computer. mom yeah. lesbian friends. Yeah, I didn't have lesbian friends at all. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't know. Now I know some people who were gay, but yeah. we, we didn't know that about each other. About it. And then, yeah, I didn't have a fake. And then after I turned 21, I started dating <gasps> Shannon. So then I wasn't like out in the gay scene yeah. in Pittsburgh. So like people knew I was gay, but I wasn't like going out. I only had really straight friends and I was just like going to see Shan and that was it. So I have no idea. I would Whoa. love to know Let's what it's like. Let's go back there. to Pittsburgh. But everyone gay was so bar. nice. Like I had an easy coming out with people, mm. like friends. People would randomly come up to me and be like, so proud of you. Like people I barely knew. That's sweet. Yeah, people were amazing. Did you ever get like a little bit of hate or no? 
Um, <coughs> not like not to my face. I'm sure people talk by my back, but Probably. yeah, I everyone's really great about it. As lucky, nice, so sweet. Ohio for life. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting question that Amy wrote down. Oh. Um, I want to know what kind of dater are you? Because <laughs> I think we are clear. Clear. I wrote. What kind of data are we all? Amy is toxic. <laughs> True. Jack is romantic. Cammy is. What kind of <sighs> data are you? Long distance. <laughs> yeah. Long, long term. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I. It's so funny. I always f- like accidentally end up in long term, long distance relationships. Wow. But I also think it's easier when you're in a long distance relationship to stay in it longer because the amount of days you're together are so much shorter Mm. that like you don't get sick of them as quickly. Wow. But um, Jack, I don't know what kind (laughs) of like single dater I am. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. Let me try. (laughs) Yeah, go give it a shot. Go get on that. (laughs) I have no idea what kind of single dater I am because the only time I've really been single in my life was like a couple months, which is absurd. Wait, wait, we have to speak about that. Uh, (laughs) If we can. Yeah, we can, we can. No, it's fine. How? Because I think I have been single my whole life. <laughs> and you, hmm. wow, you guys are like really opposites. Well, yeah. You yeah. like how never we, been single. How do we like blend this together? Yes. Do we just date each we other? We lived together. How did we not I, rub off? Yeah. <laughs> we kind of did. Maybe. How? Well, it's like very like <laughs> lesbian v gay. Like lesbians get in a long relationship for a long time. And then gays like yeah. bone around, right? Yeah. It, why are we so, <laughs> like, all of us so stereotypical in those senses sometimes? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. But so you've only had a couple months where you've never dated someone. A couple months since like How long? 13, 15. Yeah. So my, yeah, my first girlfriend was what? Like, I think it was four years. Yeah. Four years. Wow. Wow. And then that's a long ass time for a first too yeah 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 what so i think fuck? we like officially started dating when i was like 16 17 i don't know it was i was 21 when we broke up mm-hmm. and then i already knew who shannon was people would dm us on tumblr and be like anonymously they'd be like you guys should date you should date and we're like we don't know who that person is and then someone finally sent each other like our urls mm-hmm. and then we were just she she was like oh you have a girlfriend and i was like yeah so then we just were friends for a while. Da crossed and then lovers. I posted on Tumblr after my girlfriend and I broke up and I was like, I need more gay friends because I didn't have any. I was like, what am I going to do? Oh, shit. I live in Pittsburgh. I don't know anyone gay. Maybe is that why you stayed together for so long? Because you guys were the oh, only for gay sure. people? That's like classic first relationship when you're gay. You're never going to find someone that you're attracted to and who's attracted to you. Yeah. It feels so rare. And living in Pittsburgh, I didn't know anything. Totally. Now I'm like, I I would have never stayed in that that long. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I already knew who Shannon was. I posted on Tumblr, I need more gay friends. And Shannon messaged me and was like, no, she said, sup, girl. (laughs) Yeah. And then. Then then you dated for how long? And then. So sup, girl works. So (laughs) so I I was like single for a couple months because we weren't officially together, but we were talking from that moment, talked every single day. That sub girl really so, hit. Yeah, that sub girl. Oh my God, I'm, I'm easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then Shan and I dated for th- three and a half years, something like that. Oh my God. So the only time I was single was between Shannon, Takara, and that was, I don't know, five, six months? Wow. wow. Yeah. That was a crazy summer for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I was... (laughs) Heartbreak will do something to a girl. It does. And this girl did something. (laughs) Whoa. Oh, my God. I I don't know her. I would apologize for her, but I don't know her. (laughs) I was... Yeah, I was on one. Summer 2016. Is that what that summer was? I think so, yeah. Yeah. That summer. That summer. (laughs) I'm so embarrassed by that summer. What? That like, was you were like out on the fucking town. Oh. I was out on the town. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So Cammy's a long term is long-term. to answer that question. That's just how you be. That is that's just okay. how I be. That's yeah. how it is. If I find my person, I stick to it. 
That's beautiful. I'm loyal. I just maybe don't always date the right person. But I stick it out. Sure. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's always going to end You're until it sign. stays, right? What? Isn't that like everything ends until one stays forever? Oh, a reason, so like, a season, or a lifetime, baby. Mm-hmm. That's why people Ugh, come into your I've life. I've never heard of yes, that. Yes, you have. No, no, I just made it up right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Australians are really are superior to us. Right? Um, He's a philosopher. Okay. Guys, remember when we went to Australia? That was oh. literally so fucking fun. I watch those vlogs like all the time. Do you really? Yes. That's Both where of my your views vlogs. are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Both of your Australia vlogs like oh, get cute. me. And then, let's go back. Gut. Yeah. Let's go back. We should go back. Cool. We just did a, <laughs> what do you call that? A... Go team. The wave. Go team. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Enough about you. Okay. Oh. Um, but God. you do have some valuable advice that I think oh, yeah. um, you okay. could give. And I think that we all have unique and separate dating herstories. I have. Oh. So Amy asked on the Dating Straight Instagram, go follow. Yeah. Um, if anyone needed any advice themselves. Um, I zero. I'm kidding. No, we have some. I just don't have Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, hopefully, I will try and get on too. Hopefully, some of you asked. No, they did. Um, cool. So we're going to answer some of your hard-hitting questions. Ooh. If you didn't watch the um, HBO live show, we did this for some of the people in the audience too. And we thought it was a really fun segment um, to do. So let's, let's fucking do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, one second. How do you? What? The moon looks over here. Oh my God. It's a full moon tonight. That's why I've been looking around for this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> bum, Guys, bum, full bum, moon bum, in bum. fucking Scorpio. How do you find where the answers went? Um, It's in responses. Oh, you got it. Well, I like, I can't click, I can't click see all. Can you do it on mine? Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum. Just click, you just. Go to the story, swipe up, up, and then click see all. How do I stop dating soccer players? They're mean. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell if a girl is gay? And that is femme lesbian struggles. That is femme lesbian struggles. I feel like the bigger struggle is like, how do I let people know I'm gay? You know how I mean? do you let people know you're gay? I guess you're just famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh god she's a celesbian so like you don't even have to come out Shut anymore <laughs> i honestly am like just be up front i get it if you're closeted and that's a little bit harder but yeah i just seen in this day and age no harm with flirting with somebody and maybe they're not interested whether it's because of their sexuality or you're not their type or they're taken mm-hmm. just go for it like a guy is never thinking oh how do i know if a girl is straight or not if he's a straight guy totally he's just hitting on me and then i'm being like oh i'm gay and then he's like <laughs> prove it but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god remember when me you and zol were out and then that one guy like literally wouldn't get away remember that guy no, like and then Alexis was like, "Oh, <laughs> like, well, I don't know." I'm like, "Sure, of course, I mean, absolutely." Yeah. So, is it you who usually has to go for the for the lady? Again, I've only been single six months in my life. Okay, <laughs> totally. Don't really know. I feel like so much is online now too, and yeah, it's like or a friend of you a just friend. Set your preference to girls. And yeah, it's like know. it's kind of obvious. Like. It, Bless your heart if you're meeting someone in person. That's amazing. Yeah, that that sounds. Yeah, great. I would never like go up to a girl and be like, "Hey, what's up?" But I think I, I would like tell do you, some like a the hottest flirting. thing in the whole world when someone does it. Yeah, ever if you're into. So them. if you have the yeah, if you have the yeah. confidence to do it, if like, you're not into so them, hot. not hot. Yeah, I no. think I would. I think but now it's I would flattering a girl for sure. It is not not hot. It's flatter. Like at the very it least, depends. It's yeah, I guess. I mean, if you if they say no respect and, yeah like, yeah and who cares like why are we all so afraid of rejection just shoot your shot if it doesn't work i get rejected on tinder all the time like what's the difference <laughs> i can always just walk out of the gay bar like literally yeah, you can leave that's not a big deal true um you gasped did you have a good one this one's kind of crazy okay oh, um okay. yeah she wants to get married and i don't shit oh how do i oh what help <gasps> So how to break up? Wants, ooh, how old oh, are they, I wonder? I don't know. Wow. She wants to get married and I don't. Should I look at their profile and take a guess? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us like an approx. Okay. Um, and and is this coming from a girl? So they're gay? Like, 
probably right well all of my friends in sydney are getting married like literally every single one Private account. yeah i don't know and i'm 26 and cats. so single they have cats so they're yeah i okay wait so she wants to get married i don't you I'm, have to break up you have, you have to. to yeah well, but then there the follow-up was like how do how I break to up? break up Oh yeah, I saw there's one so that, many sides to this question. How to get out of a six year relationship is oh, another one okay. I saw. <laughs> first, like, I don't know, just stay. First, I <laughs> would... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But the six years, Jesus, Fuck like how do you this, even do it? How do you like, even start? Similar questions. Yeah. Um, oh, I you guess just the say, first like, thing you can do I is like, want... I don't want to get married. Yeah. Um, so but if you, you are immediately jumping to how to break up, mm -hmm. then it must be. Yeah, they, they said that in up. the question. They they are gone. They're not just I don't want to get married yet. They don't want to be in a relationship. I think a good way to maybe um, approach things mm -hmm. would to try and communicate like, hey, I think we're at different points in our lives where you want to continue with something very serious. I don't know if I can. Yeah. Or want to. Yeah. Um, and. At a certain point, like obviously they can be upset, but at a certain point, like if that's if that's basically true, you can't be like super mad at the other person that they just aren't at the same point in life. Totally. I mean, people can be mad, but that's not a, you can't control that. Yeah, and, and the best like, thing you can do is be honest because yeah, hundred percent you don't want to. This person will recognize if you are distancing yourself. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is be honest, pull the band aid, and rip it, rip it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing them a disservice by staying with them if you don't want to be with them. And you're wasting both of your time. A hundred percent. Maybe you will find someone you do want to marry. <laughs> you will, or, and, and they so will could they. find someone if they're ready. They could find someone that they want to marry quicker. So. That's my advice. Anyone else? No, totally. Just be like, I don't want, well, I don't want that. So okay, we well, want don't things. do it like how Amy like, <laughs> no. said. Well, well, I, um, you. I don't want don't that. want to. <laughs> okay. Another one. 22 years old and never kissed or had sex with anyone. How oh. do I start? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, do, do you want to be kissing and having sex is one. I think I think so. if they're like, how do I, how do I start? start? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some people well, get scared and pressured. Thing I would say, number one, go on with a closed mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think no. just get out there. I think, I, don't I mean, <laughs> dating apps are a great place to start because if you're going on a date, you immediately know beforehand that they at least find you somewhat attractive or interesting. You're there for the same reason. You're there for the same reason. So, um... That's a good place to start. And then I think you just know, like you have to know. You get vibes also, when someone's yeah. with you. 22 is like not that old. I was like 19 and I had never like really boned anyone. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah it's not gonna be like, like upset about. Yeah, you just like do it and then it's over and then you did it. <laughs> yeah, and I had four Dang. roommates in college and three of them were virgins and they're yeah. gay. Yeah, so, And gays are known for being like, whores so like <laughs> yeah but gays are also known for like being a late bloomers true, true. So, so there's nothing wrong with that i bet you could find another 22 year old who also wants to kiss for the first time find yeah. them take the or pressure off of it out. or you don't i i would say don't even look for that but like you don't have to hide it necessarily yeah yeah but like I'm, it's not I don't like as someone weird can, as you feel like it is and like someone it's not weird to say it because like someone, some people are happy to like guide you through that, you know, and be like, yeah, you could totally just be honest with whoever you're on a date with. And then if they're weird about it, then, well, okay, actually, I might say, don't tell them till like after your first kiss or something. Maybe I wouldn't bring it up first. Because like you don't it wouldn't wanna, be the first thing you sit down you don't 10 wanna, minutes into the date. Like, oh, I'm actually, you don't want to ostracize yourself from yeah. sexuality. Yeah. Like if you go into a date being like, hey, I've never had sex, then people will be like, oh, I wonder why. Yeah. But if there's no reason, there's no reason to tell them, you know? Like, if there's no reason you haven't had sex or kissed anyone, then, like, there's no reason why not to. You'll figure it out. It'll happen. <laughs> yeah. It'll happen when it happens. You It'll got happen. this. Yeah, Go you on got this. is, like, my biggest... Yeah, put event. yourself out there. Go on Just date. be confident. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Cammie, thank you so much for being Thanks, on Dating guys. Straight. Yay, Cammie! Yay! Being a femme lesbian is a struggle, but if Cami can be femme, so can we. <laughs> Cami, where can our listeners find more of you? At Cami Scott on everything. 
That's it. Lucky. (laughs) Super simple. (laughs) Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Oddman. I'm Duck Dog. And and this this is Dating Dating Straight. Straight. See you next Tuesday. That was cute.